Hey, good Monday morning to everyone out there. And of course, I have to look into the International Ice Hockey Federation because Finland is now 2022 world champions. So let's get to it. No, I'm not going to go deep into this, but I wanted to point out a few things that I noticed. Of course, you realize that they were playing against Canada and that they have now won the world championship. Okay, that's great. Congratulations to the Finland team. Of course, everyone is celebrating all over. You know, this here in Finland, they call it the MM Yakeko, which means the international ice puck. <laughs> yeah, so the Lions, they've won in 95, 2011, 2019, and now here at home on home ice once again. So there you have it. They beat Canada 4-3. What an intense game, I have to say. But of course, like I say, that's my downfall. One of my downfalls. We have many, I'm sure. And as I do, as I'm sure you do as well. But take a look at how they celebrated there in the lockers. <laughs> I'm actually surprised they allowed them to sing that song. Yeah, it says that they are Finns, true and true, right? But they sing about a man and a woman, and I thought we weren't allowed to talk about that. I am, but I, I, congratulations once again. But as I've said, Finns tend to celebrate a little too hard. As you can see, they tried to block the monument here and uh, didn't have much luck. They put a jersey on the mermaid, and if you're unaware of what the statue is, let me just show you a few pictures for you to understand close up, as well as the seals. If you go to look at them, they're actually sticking out their tongues. Hmm, interesting, right? But this is called the Havis Amanda Monument, and he got the vision by living in Paris for a long time. They allowed him then to make this statue. But when you look further, of course, it is considered a mermaid. So I'm really surprised that she doesn't have a tail. She has feet. But, you know, Carl Wilhelm himself, he reignited. I'm putting this is in my words. When you look at his uh, Wikipedia, I tried to look for more information. I couldn't. But he reignited the knighthood of the Jesus of the Order of Syria. Hmm. Wonder what that was all about, right? I'm sure he had a cross somewhere that he owns. But anyway, we don't need to get into that. Into the Finland game now. Interestingly enough, they said that they scored the final goal at exactly 66 minutes and 42 seconds. But look at other things that they pointed out here. Okay, MM... Yeah, 13-13, or you can look at it as 33, but the IHF equals 32, and he got a triple gold, he's now a triple gold member because he won the gold with Finland three times, so congratulations, Filipula. Of course, that is an honor. Interesting, take a wild guess on what the triple gold club actually equals to when you put it in exactly that way of course 66 right of course of course and of course they have a microphone that has the letter c on it and he is a captain so there again all i'm seeing is 33 right just saying just saying and like i said they have posted it that they scored at 6 minute 42 but when you hear them at least here in finland they're saying it's at 66 minutes and 42 seconds. Just saying, just saying, all I'm seeing right there in a nutshell is 666. But hey, pointing it out, referees, of course, there was a 66 referee with that number, but I couldn't find it. It's out there. And of course, there's a 33. You have to have those special numbers, right? I'm just saying. But I do love all the referee you know, footage that they share. It, it is funny. Gold, two plus two. 44. Four. 44. Eight. 44. Four. One, two, three, four, five, six. 44. So I have to say, they make it fun to watch even these replays of the best ref cams, right? And I noticed this making miracles. Yeah. MM again, right there. 
and take a look at how they opened up and what they showed us here. Let's hope I didn't go too long that they don't take that out, but it doesn't matter. You can see the symbol right here and my thoughts on it. Yeah, it looks just like a 101, right? Or that there's three lines. Once again, they're counting to three. And the three actually on top of even the green symbol there with the arrow. Yeah, you can see my thoughts. Yeah, just saying they love counting to three, but we've looked into that before. It equals, yeah. The pillars in short but you saw that it's the circle of trust again there yeah absolutely and who of course would believe that the our prime minister was there of course she was she flew in all the way from um ukraine just to be a part of the game but look how she's dressing this is our prime minister with ripped jeans look i i don't care how one dresses casually wherever you are but come on really are you are you 20 years old or younger honestly i'm just saying but yeah she flew in from ukraine came to finland for the game and now today first thing in the morning back to brussels that's right yeah that's where she's going so back and forth she's oh is she helping climate change i'm just saying you know with them being so green and everything else. And I'm sure she flew all by herself on this plane, maybe with a few bodyguards. But anyway, I wanted to remind you in case you're unaware that just even a few years ago, she was showing her talents of being able to do some pull-ups. How many women do you know are able to do several pull-ups? I'm just saying, I'm just asking. But we have our thoughts on who she he is anyway but there you have it finland one i just wanted to share you can go take a look at the at their own site to really get deep into this if you're really interested but i know none of you are but i just wanted to share that it's huge news here in finland of course it keeps everyone in a good mood over here so with everything that's going on even one guy was saying oh we've had all this you know pandemics issues going on but here we come victorious Oh boy. Anyway, God bless. Enjoy. I have one more quick one coming for you. So take it easy till next time.